Hey everyone, how's it going today? My name is Excellent Fox, and today I wanted to help everyone out with a guide for Cambrian Drift Mining. A lot of people might be wondering where to get specific mining ores or gems on Cambrian Drift, so I thought it would be good to just cover the basics on a good spot to mine, um, where to buy mining ore and gem blueprints so that you can craft them into usable materials, and um, just how to get every kind of ore or gem in Cambrian Drift. If you go directly from your orbiter to Cambrian Drift, um, the little entry pathway that leads you up to the quest giver mom usually has a good six to eight ores in it, so that's a great place to start. Overall, I think the best place to mine is in this big cave right here. A lot of people use this cave for fishing, but it's also a great mining spot. It is straight out of the gate, very close, easy to access. So this cave is one of the best places you can go to. It is absolutely chock full of ores and gems, and uh, I'd say relatively few enemies spawn in this area while you're mining. And if they do spawn, it's usually only one or two, and you can handle them pretty quickly. So, when it comes to actually finding these ores and gems, what you're looking for is yellow and blue um, little blips on the ground. These yellow and blue um, blips are called mineral veins. So the mineral veins are divided into two types, uh, ores and gems. Ores are things that are refined into metals, stuff like that. Um, they're usually lower quality. Um, you get a lot of them and gems are, you know, the higher quality a um, little bit more rare thing. After the most recent patch, um, they've put a nice big diamond indicator around the ores and gems. I think this is very helpful, very easy to actually recognize what you're looking for. So just use the meter on the right hand side of your window. It tells you exactly how far you are in meters away from the nearest gem that you're pointed at. And the blinking sound that goes tick, 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 that tells you that you're getting closer. The Geiger sound tells you that you're facing the right direction. You know, you're if you're playing hot and cold, the Geiger sound tells you that you're going the right way. So these yellow mineral veins are ore veins. And from these yellow ones, you can mine adramallium, baphylite, um, namalon, and thalmica. So at this point, you've probably seen me mine quite a few of these. The last one I just got was adramallium. This one right here is going to be baphylite. So Adramallium and baphylite are very common. Um, Namalon is a little less common, and thalmica is very rare. So if you're going for thalmica, you're probably going to have to go around mining quite a bit. In this video that I'm recording right now, I'm looking for thalmica, and I'm looking for stellated necrothene. These are two of the rarest gems, and right now it's a little hard to get both of them, so you might wind up spending a good amount of time looking for this stuff. So on the reverse end, um, when you start mining the gem nodes, which are blue, the ores that you can get from them are Dagonic, Embolos, and Hesaphron at the very common level, and on the slightly more uncommon is Teometric, Xenerhast, and Necrophine. What I've noticed to be most successful when it comes to finding these rare gems is when you are mining, very infrequently, you will see a little bonus um, nook or a little bonus outline that is past the regular mining spot. When you are mining these bonus ones, they will be very tiny and they will be static in one place. And I've noticed that these bonus ones seem to be the best way to get the extremely rare gems, especially the necrothene. In all of my mining so far, I have not found any necrothene, except when I'm getting the bonus mining nodes. Right now, the wiki on necrothene says that it just drops from gem ores, so you're welcome to try to mine gem ores as much as you want. Um, I'm just mining in general, and every time I mine one of these, I'm trying my absolute best to make sure that I hit the bonus node. Just on the way things are right now, in terms of actual drops, 
I really have to recommend that you do complete the mining as intended. Um, there is an alternate method of mining where you can just mine a little bit and then let go. And if you don't find the ore that you're looking for, or if you don't find a special um, little mining node, just like that, you just look a little bit and then you just let go. And um, it results in a much quicker mine. But just the way things are for the drop rates on these ores and these gems, See, so right here, I'm just mining like regular. But sometimes when I come across the blue ones, and this is the node that you're looking for. That's the one. I just hit it right there. That's the nodes that you're looking for. So yeah, I think hitting these nodes is crucial. Um, but if you're looking to just go fast, you can, you know, just blitz through it and check to see if the dot has a node. And if not, just let go. So again, I'm not going to recommend this at this point. Um, right now, from what I've seen, just the way that they've revamped mining, every time you do this, the ore that you get, you're only getting two or three. So there's a lot of good ores that you're going to need a lot of over the course of things. So right now, I would just mine everything as much as you can, and I would fully complete the mining as intended. Um, Thalmica is just a very rare drop from these ores. So if you're farming for Thalmica and you're not getting what you're looking for, you know, it's just bad luck, I think. Um, so here's one where I have a double mining node, so that was awesome. And each mining node gives you an extra free rare gem. So I think it's most important to make sure that you hit these mining gems. Um, right now, I just want to take a second to talk about how I feel about the... Cambrian Drift Mining right now. I think the Cambrian Drift Mining needs a little bit of work. I think it needs a patch for the numbers and the rates. Um, right here I just do some fast farming. I'm looking for um, stellated necrothene or just necrothene in general for me to refine it. So I mine for about 10 minutes and um, on yellows, I'm doing it all the way because I did need some Thalmica too. And if I did get a yellow Thalmica drop, I wanted it to be the full 8 or 10 instead of 4. But over the course of the 10 minutes of me mining and looking for this necker theme, I did not get a single one. And I opened up a lot of yellow ores, and I opened up a lot of blue gems. There I just got 20 Thalmica, which was some of the stuff that I was looking for. But, um, you know, over the course of this 10 minute mining, I did not hit a single necrothene node, which kind of upset me because I did need a few more necrothene too. Overall, I think that Diamos's mining is fundamentally flawed. Um, I don't know who came up with the concept, but someone at DE said, what would be a great idea? Let's take all these ores and let's make them um, require two, two different kinds of mining from two different areas to make this stuff. So some of these ores require planes of Eidolon ores to craft. Some of these ores require Fortuna ores to craft. Um, and overall, it's just a hassle. Like we would have liked to go in, uh, mine a new set of ores and just make them. Now, everyone who doesn't have a big stock of planes of Eidolon ores and gems they're going to be forced to farm twice as much. Here's a perfect example of this. Um, so the ore that is most common from what I've seen is actually baphylite. I get baphylite more than anything else when I'm mining ore, and baphylite gets formed into tempered baphylite. But in order to form tempered baphylite, you actually need pyrol. And Pyrol is an uncommon ore drop from Plains of Eidolon. And I don't think it's fair to force players to farm two different kinds of ore to make into one ore, um, like Tempered Baphylite. I think it's just too much of a time sink, and I would really appreciate it if they took these off. And then on top of that, just the um, induced rarity of some of this stuff just feels a little bit unfair. Um, you know, when I farm for 10 minutes and I get 20 or 30 of the Thalmica 
and then I have to go back on top of it, and then I have to go to a Fortuna, and I have to go mine up a bunch of Traverside in an attempt to make Thalmica ore out of Thalmica and Traversite. Um, it just feels like too much. It feels like too much work for me. So I doubt they'll change this. I doubt they'll fix this. Um, you know, obviously they want the biggest time investment they can. Um, but right now, if you're struggling, hurting for ores, this is the place to go. This cave is excellent. It is very big. It is very consistent. It has a lot of ore spawns. And usually they're very, very easy to reach. They're usually just right on the ground. And they're usually very easy to identify. Um, so I choose this cave because everything is in plain sight everything is easy to see and it sticks out a lot there are lots of other places on the map you're welcome to mine anywhere you want the beginning of the map is also a very excellent place to mine or um, isolation vaults if you want to actually open up an isolation vault and then just go and mine in it i think isolation vaults are amazing and they also have a ton a ton of ore spawns so Excellent places to mine are right there in that big cave that I was just in, or in isolation vaults, or you can just go around the map, but if you do go around the map, keep in mind that you're going to find some that are stuck in the walls, some that are hard to reach, um, you know, some that are hard to find even. After you've mined all of your ores, um, I just want to make sure everybody knows about OTAC. OTAC sells the blueprints to craft all of these ores into refined ores. So you can buy those for OTAC from standing. OTAC also sells um, OTAC tokens um, from the top result. When you buy these OTAC tokens, I really have to stress, do not buy any of them with Necrothene. Necrothene is so rare right now. Just save your Necrothene. Um, just use basic ones, you know, Hesapron, Dagonic, um, Baphalite, you know, address symbol, whatever. Use the basic ones and you'll be able to get plenty of these tokens if you need to turn them in for grandma. Thank you guys so much for all your support recently and have a good one.